ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸಿರಿಭೂವಲಯ ಸಾಗರರತ್ನ ಮಂಜೂಷ ಎ ಫ್ಲಾಶ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಎಟ್ ಕುಮುದೇಂದು ಮುನೀಸ್ ಸರ್ವಭಾಷಾಮಯಿ ಭಾಷಾ ಸಿರಿಭೂವಲಯ ದ ಟೆಂತ್ ವಂಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಬೈ ಸಿರಿಭೂವಲಯ ಸುಧಾರ್ತಿ ಹಾಸನ್ ಹುಸ್ famously known as sudharthi his original name is girija shankar and the english version is translated by kavi suresh so let's see the preface by professor g venkata sudbaya one of the eminent scholars of karnataka sarva bhasha mai bhasha siribhuvalaya is an ancient book written by kumudendu muni in kannada numerics the present book siribhuvalaya sagara ratna manjusha authored by sudarthi of hasan is the seventh in the series of books by sudarthi which have tried to elucidate or introduce the original work by kumudendu muni the fact that shri sudarthi has been able to bring out seven books on this poet and ancient work within a short span of time is really appreciable i have gone through these seven books published since 2010 by shri sudarthi of hasan i have also gone through the several so far unknown facts provided to me on this subject separately by shri sudarthi in a uh, summarized form and i have been greatly attracted by many interesting new innovative issues accordingly i am indeed happy to write a few words as preface to this introductory book on sri bhuvalaya when i came to bangalore in 1945 and engaged myself in the starting of a private college this ancient work was subject matter of discussion among the then senior and junior literary circles i have separately written about the research work by kalamangalam shrikantaya and the great efforts of shri k ananta subba rao inventor of kannada typewriter in deciphering the inner secrets of this great work a part of this was published around 1953 and it was a matter of great discussion during those days though it was then popular as a work in kannada numerics many of its contents were very difficult to understand or decipher for this reason it remained in cold storage in 2003 shri y k mohan of pustaka shakti prakashana expressed interest to publish a revised version of this work being aware of its vast inner intricacies i had uh, suggested him to consult dr t v venkatachala shastri accordingly dr t v venkatachala shastri dr Mar- uh, marulaya and dr ganesh wrote articles incorporating their views on this work pustaka shakti prakashana has published several books incorporating these articles sri bhuvalaya sara sri bhuvalaya sagara ratna sri bhuvalaya padyagala sangraha sri bhuvalaya ondu minchu nota sri bhuvalaya da jayakhyana antargata bhagavad gita sri bhuvalaya ki ek janki sri bhuvalaya da ola nota these recent works by sudharthi of hasan gives a detailed and simple introduction of this great ancient work and the process has succeeded in giving a glimpse of its vast inner potential to the common reader no doubt kumudendu muni and sri bhuvalaya have now come to be known among the commonest of readers Shri Sudharthi has logically discussed various issues on numeric circle that is Anka Chakra Bhuvalaya, the phonetics based poetry which is Akshara Bhuvalaya, their virginal research and about some of its part, parts being preserved in the National Archives, several conflicts and confusions and research matters etc. These discussions are really very interesting and intricate. it is left to the discretion of the readers to either accept or to reject this presentation due to 
its very intricate nature involving time and strenuous efforts to decipher it, the printed version of Sri Bhuvalaya published in 1953 remained unattended. The revised version published by Pushtaka Shakti Prakashana also did not improve matters. Without understanding at least some of its important contents, it is very difficult to accept this work as Sarva Bhashamayi, Sarva Jnanamayi or Sarva Shastramayi. But with the publication of seven introductory books by Sudharthi, it is now evident that no one can straight away brush aside the above attributes of the ancient work. The readers can notice that this work by Sudharthi gives new, authentic and many valuable information hitherto not found in the earlier two publications. Based on the literary style of this work, that is Prasodi, which is Chandasu, and the nature of the language used here, so far the period of the poet and this work is not a decided conclusively. Based on the frequent, ref uh, frequent reference in, the, in this work relating uh, to Gangarasa, Saigutta, and Amoghavarsha of Manyakheta, Veerasena Acharya, author of uh, Dabhada Grantha, Dinasena Acharya, author of Mahapurana, and based on the fixation of uh, their periods on historical basis, the statement of Dr. S. Shrikant Shastri that the period of the poet and work after the 9th century is significant. The poet himself has stated that he written this work after exactly thousand one and a half years of the demise of Mahavira. Based on this and thoroughly discussing uh, the confusion in deciding the period of Mahavira, Sri Sudharthi strongly suggests that the period of this poet and work pertains to the period around 800 AD. This needs to be further examined by the concerned. Sri Bhuvalaya is also known as Sarva Bhashamayi, encompassing all languages. As it contains the literature of 718 languages, it is left to the concerned uh, to accept this claim. But after having shown some of the literary notes of such languages as Sanskrit, Prakrit, Magadhi, Ardhamagadhi, Shurasini, Pali, etc., and having brought out the evolution method of the various languages, is it possible to reject the fact that the remaining languages cannot emerge from the intricate contents of this work? This work contains 6 lakh Kannada shlokas and so far about 21,000 shlokas have been published in readable form. But when one sees the vastness of its inner contents and when it is published in its entirely, entirely, entirety, it would be difficult to reject the claim of the poet that this Siri Bhuvalaya encompasses in itself the literature of over thousand languages. I would like to quote a paragraph directly from the Sudarthi's Kannada version of this book, which says like this, Kumudendu Muniyo Tanna Siri Bhuvalaya Dalli Anuviknana the Mahiti and no, Kanada the Libhara Saravagi Varisidane, H two O Yemba, Adunika Vignana Sutra, the Kanada Avataniki and now Siribule the Lis Pastavagi Kanabudu Anuvu Nirola Gestu Anala Vayu Galestu Nene du Suda, the Onuvestu Munta Gi, Varisidane Tanuvanu Akashaki Haris in Ilisuva Gana Vimanika Kavia, Embali, Bahia Kashi Tantrakana the Vicharvan Suchisidare. In the Jagatina Atia Dunikava than Taha, Ganakayantra Krama, Hagu mobile Tantra Gnanavu Kumudin to Vige, Karatala Malakavagi the Vichara, Yavea Kali Nakshetra, Dalata Yolodekisi, Jodi Yanka the Huta Danga, binary system, Embali E. Vicharavu, Nirupitavagate, Cutter and Nirmana Tantra Gnana, Hagu Buma Panavignanaki survey, Saman the Santaha Vivaglu, Grantadali, Adagiwe. Thus explains Sudharthi in, in his book, Siribhu Valaya uh, Sara. Kumudendu Muni has explained in simple Kannada language issues relating to atomic science. One can see the Kannada version of H2O in Siribhu Valaya, 
it also deals with aerospace science. The poet was also well versed in matters relating to the modern computers and mobile, matters relating to the construction technology and land survey also find a place in the work. Continuing Sri Sudharthi mentions, Duravani, Akashavani, Duradarshana, Muntada, Samuhamadhyamagalu, Adhunika Vijnanada, Sadhanigalu, Yambatapu Grahikeyu, Jagatinali Tumbide. Adari e Tantragnana, the Naipunyata Yenu Hunditu, Kumuda Chandrana, Andre Kumudin Duvina Pratibhegi, Talakadina, Gangarasa Saikuta Sivamara, no, Rashtrakuta, Mughavarsh and Rupatunga, no, Mechuge Suchisid the Sangati, Eriti Eshesu, Hagu Kirti in the Padea Bahuda, the Apara Sampatan no Kalin in the Vadeva Munivam Shadavara Bualaya, Embudagi Sibualayo, Suchiside, Nodi. Mot Tarani Adhya the Purna Padyagashwa Gatiya Antar Sahitya Padyasanki Ayvat Yaradarinda Ayvat Nalaku Paramartikavagi Nirapa Yogi Yada Inta Laukika Sampatan Nukumudin Dumuniu Kalin in the Waddu Yeddu Paramart Dedege Sagida Sagidane Yamba Vicharvanu Adunika Vaidyaki Vignanavu Vasectami Tubectami Yamba Santana Harana Shastrichkitsenu Nutanavagi Rupis de Yamba Vicharavu Loka Prasiti Pratti, the other in Amapurvi Kerege, Prachina Kala the lay, eat and Tragnana with Tilid the Sangati, it in the re Acharya, Vishavalavi, other no Yaru, Nambalaru, other eh, Kumudin Dumunio, cut Tirisirva Prachina Grantha Mahitiente, Idu, such a Sangatiagide, eat and Tragnana no, Linga Chedana Vignana into Suchisalagide, Nodi Nalavataidane Adhyada, Ashwati Anthar Saiti Patiasanke, Ivat Nalaku. There is a misconception that mass media like telephone, television, radio, etc. are the inventions of modern science. Gangarasa Saigutta Sivamara of Talakadu and Rashtrakuta Amoghavarsha Nrupatunga had greatly lauded Kumudendumuni, who had uh, complete expertise of this so-called modern technology. However, Kumudendumuni considered these materialistic comforts as useless and moved towards self-emancipation Besides modern science claims that sterilization methods such as tubectomy, vasectomy, etc., are its new discoveries, but it is surprising to note that this was known to our ancestors a uh, long time ago itself, but many uh, don't believe this. They don't believe this. Okay, As per the information in the ancient book of Kumude Indomuni, As per Kumudin Dumuni, uh, this is actually a fact. This is mentioned as Linga Chedana Vijnana. When one observes such a revealing and new fact in this ancient work, it would again be very difficult to set aside the statement that it is Sarva Shastramayi, inclusive of all Shastras or Vijnana or science. Sri Sudharthi makes an interesting analysis to bring out the fact that this ancient work remained an unknown work right from the ancient times till now. Rigveda is the most ancient source of knowledge as certainly brought out by Kumudin Dumuni, irrespective of the fact that the ancient Jain tradition dates back, dates back to several crores of years. The fact remains that the roots of this tradition lies in Vedopanishads. Kumudin Dumuni was well aware of the significance of Rigveda this is evident from the fact that the first canto of Sri Bhuvalaya, where words such as Rig Veda, Rig, Rig Bhuvalaya, etc. appear more than thousand times. It is clear that Mahabandha was earlier, was, was, was the earlier name of Sri Bhuvalaya. Kumudendu Muni has categorically mentioned about Mahabandha in the 134th shloka of 58th chapter of First Khanda by mentioning Rig Mahabandha. He has established beyond doubt that Rigveda is the main source for all the traditional work of Jainism. Based on this only, it has been possible for Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri and Satya newspaper to give their definite views as about 60 years earlier itself. 
but it is significant to note that the traditional Jains and the traditional Hindu followers are silent on this till now. Both these uh, traditionalists consider themselves and their philosophies as the best. And in this race, this invaluable treasure of knowledge was beyond the easy access of the interested. However, it is fortunate that at least the first canto, Khanda, is now completely available. Anyhow, this analysis of Sudharthi may not be the liking of some people. Kota Vasudeva Karanth, Dr. Maliye Gopala Krishna Rao, Karlamangalam Shri Kanthaya, Ki Ananta Subharao, and many such earlier generation elders, all highly respected by Sudharthi, were highly rigid personalities, always sticking to their guns. It is but natural that Sudhati, who is the follower of these great personalities, can be understood only by a hard working. And uh, the persistent person, um, it is said that Chalagaranige Voliyuva Kavya. The success Siddharthi uh, has accomplished in his seven introductory books on this ancient works has come to him naturally. Siddharthi mentions, my attempt is only to give an introduction to this ancient work. This is not research. In fact, a team of researchers who are scholars in many languages should conduct a comprehensive, cohesive, and systematic analysis of this work. Universities should evince interest in this great work. I have only done what an individual can do uh, to formally introduce this. These words speak volumes of the keen interest of Sudharthi to see that the intricate inner knowledge hidden in this ancient work is brought to light. It also shows the sadness of Sudhati for the uh, disinterest of the contemporary literary persons in this great work. It is evident from some of the strong words Sudhati has used, it is possible for only who are scholars in ancient work and systematically sort out the same. I have no belief that our contemporary scholars uh, will evince interest in this track. I have attempted this work with the farthest of hope that at least in future, a great scholar will come forward to attempt this great task and bring laurels to Kannada people. Siri Bhuvala Yasara was published in 2010, which, is sim which in simple terms explains this concept. <clears throat> I'm forced to give my opinion as till now, no one of the Sanskrit or Prakrit scholars have commented or reacted on this work, it is natural that the traditional Hindu people have little interest in Prakrit language. Prakrit being the storehouse of Jain traditional literature, it is still being patronized by the Jains. But Siribhuvalaya propagates or highlights the importance of cohesion and coordination of all religions and it clearly mentions uh, the Rig Veda is the main source of all knowledge. The supremacy of traditional Jainism or Hinduism is out of place here. For this reason, at least our scholars should concentrate on the intricate issues that are hidden in this rare ancient work and bring out several interesting facts. These hard words of Sudharthi need not be misunderstood. It is pardonable. Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri was the first among those Dr. Srikanta Shastri was uh, first among those who studied this rare work in some depth and expressed his definite views. Following his footsteps and guidance of K. Ananta Subharao, it is a matter of real pride that Sudharthi is the first one to introduce and elucidate the inner intricacies of Siri Bhuvalaya. Thanks to the efforts of Sudhati, the number of people taking interest in Sri Bhuvalaya has grown up. 
sufficiently. It is also significant that one such person uh, organized a six-day workshop under the auspicious uh, auspicious of uh, uh, Bhardesha Education Institutes about simple methods of deciphering uh, Sri Bhuvalaya in Belagavi. Another heart uh, touching factor is that Sudharthi is also grooming the next generation in this direction. Sri H.M. Sadananda, an officer of the Power Grid Corporation of India, Mizoram is preparing a thesis paper. Of course, uh, he has got the doctorate now for his doctor work uh, on Sri Bhuvalaya to be submitted to Hampi University and Sudhati is assisting him on a regular basis by providing the necessary inputs on this subject, thereby preparing an able person to pursue this task. In fact, he also guided uh, Sri Hemant Kumarji, it's me, uh, to understand the intricacies of Sri Bhuvalaya and take it ahead. Uh, from the place where it, it, it has been stopped till now, okay? Uh, in fact, a study of literary works in this, uh, it is in the vein these days, it is a Herculean task to digest Sri Bhuvalaya. The internet is now the most sought after source uh, for our youngsters to collect any information they need. Many details on Sri Bhuvalaya are also available on internet. Sudharthi is updating this information on a regular basis and I'm also supporting him on the internet also. And for this, he and his supporters need to be congratulated. There are several people who are supporting Dr. Uh, Mr. Sudharthi. It is a welcome development that based on the revelation of Sudharthi, many people interested in medical, mathematics, computers, religion, etc., have started taking interest on this subject. I wish that similarly scholars in the field of music, dance, Veda and Upanishads in various languages make efforts to dig out the valu valuable hidden information in this great ancient work and enhance the greatness of Sri Bhulaya. This will be a tribute to the efforts of Sudharthi. Sudharthi has mentioned to me several times that more than my introductory books, the Janata Samskarana of Sri Bhuvalaya written by Kalamangalam Sri Kantaya contains more and comprehensive details. Perhaps it may contain information up to the fourth canto, fourth khanda of Sri Bhuvalaya. Okay, that's very valuable information. So it is uh, still hidden. Uh, it's not, it didn't came to the public platform till the date. So that the, and several people have tried to retrieve that great epic from Kalamangala Sri Kalamangalam Sri Kantaya's family members, but till the date, it, it, it is not succeeded. So uh, Sudharthi has seen it only once, that book, the same or now in the safe custody of his uh, Kalamangala Sri Kantaya's successors. If either they or government come forward to print the same, it would not only be a fitting uh, tribute to Sri Kantaya, but would be of uh, invaluable asset to the people interested in literature. In fact, uh, I'm ready to undertake this work without expecting any returns, says, uh, uh, said Professor G. Venkata Subbaya. We have to remember this uh, uh, words of him. An eminent scholar like Venkata Subbaya has said this. He's ready to take uh, undertake this work without expecting any returns. Okay, he says that, I feel it is, it is uh, it suitable that the concern should take up this job or at least allow Sudhati to do the rest. After a stint of 35 years stay in Bangalore, it is really a hard decision to return to rural, rural side. I've seen the strenuous efforts uh, Sudhati puts both in literary and agricultural fields. In this, the role of his wife is indeed very significant. It is really a blessing to Sudhati that his wife has taken up this onerous task of publishing his works. She has been successfully managing the Ananta Prakashana in memory of late K. Ananta Subaraya, Subaraya for over a decade. Sudharthi has mentioned to me that in addition, she is taking great pains, pains in analyzing each letters contained in Sri Bhulaya by collecting the necessary information. I wholeheartedly bless that this selfless and dedicated efforts of this couple meet with success. These great efforts of Sudharthi purely as a service to Kannada literature is a selfless manner promotes, uh, prompts me to call him as Siri Bhuvalayada Sudharthi. Okay, uh, we have to remember that this 
title is entitled by Professor G. Venkatasubhaya to Sudharthi Hasan, Siri Bhu Valayada Sudharthi. The face value of this book, Karana version, uh, itself suggests that this is only a jnana, dana, yajna. And I fervently hope that Kannadigas make full and fruitful use of this effort. I congratulate Sir Sudharthi on this great effort uh, signed by Professor G. Venkata Subbaya uh, in Bangalore during 2010-2013. So this is the preface uh, written by Professor G. Venkata Subbaya for the book Siri Bhuvalaya Sagar Ratna Manjusha, a flash site at Kumudendumuni's Sarvabhasha Mai Bhasha Siri Bhuvalaya, the 10th wonder of the world, English version by uh, Kavi Suresh and Kannada narration by Siri Bhuvalaya Sudhati. So this is the book. I'm here signing off Hemant Kumarji. Let's meet with more information in the next video. Thank you one and all.